to Hospitality Property School. You are listening to Hospitality Property School with your host, Jerry McPherson. Welcome to another edition of Hospitality Property School. I'm your host, Jerry McPherson, and today we're going to talk about upselling. Now, in the minds of many, upselling is a dirty word. Well, it doesn't have to be. In fact, it can help you make your customers happier. Upselling will make your customers more satisfied and make your business more profitable. I've heard many employees and owners say they feel uncomfortable trying to upsell. A properly trained employee can add apparent value to a room sale that the customer is already willing to make, increasing their stay's worth as well as increasing your bottom line. This benefits everyone. First of all, I should explain the difference between upselling and cross-selling. Upselling is a strategy to sell a more expensive version of something the customer already has. For example, going from a standard room to a mini suite. Cross-selling is a strategy to sell products that are different, but possibly related. For example, if your property has a swimming pool, you might offer your guests swimming goggles or swimming caps. Now here are a few reasons to stop thinking of upselling or cross-selling as dirty words. If done correctly, upselling can build a deeper relationship with your guests by helping your guests win. What I mean by this is if you can make your customers feel like an upsell is a win for them, you both can win. For example, a couple is checking into your property and your front desk agent says, would you like me to make a dinner reservation in our restaurant for you? With your room rate, you qualify for our dinner special, saving you $20 off our normal price. Quite often, the guests will hear they're saving $20 and jump at the opportunity. This is a win for the guests, who are saving $20, and for you, as they might not have taken advantage of your restaurant. It is easier to upsell to returning guests than to new guests. According to the book, Marketing Metrics, the probability of selling to new guests is about 5-20%. to The probability of selling to existing guests is 60-70%. to With returning guests, there is a trust factor, and for that reason, upselling is easier. Upselling increases your guests' lifetime value. Each upsell can increase the lifetime value of your loyal guest, paying off for many years down the line. When was the last time you went to McDonald's and were not offered fries or a drink to go with your burger? Or the last time you bought an electrical appliance and had not been told the benefits of an extended warranty? Maybe now you can see the benefit of learning and teaching your employees to upsell. It is a vital skill that you can learn by approaching each sale smartly, by using various upsell techniques and laying the groundwork for repeat business. All employees should practice their pitches on each other. Practice makes perfect, and it will not take long before you and your employees are able to read your guests and know what to upsell. If a couple are getting away for the weekend, you could offer a spa treatment or a candlelight dinner. If it's a family, you could offer them a family package at the zoo or passes to the local swimming pool. You can set these kind of opportunities by cross-promoting with other businesses. Now you have to plan for objections. It's important to train your staff to see and handle different situations. Is the objection real or just the guest's way of saying, I need more time or information? Script out the objectives you receive for your particular offers, how they're handled, and then discuss how they could be handled better. Now two great rules to follow. Never sell to an extremely frustrated or angry customer and always show compassion and understanding for your guest's perspective. Guide and support. Now, I've stressed this many times in the past how important training is. And when it comes to upselling, don't assume because you've told people how to do something, they will be able to go out and deliver it consistently. You have to observe how your staff handle the upselling conversation and give them feedback. And because it's mutually beneficial to have employees critique and share ideas with each other. All feedback should be positive with options. Conclusion. Upselling is not a dirty word 
And if you and your employees are well-versed in what you have to offer, you will make your guests happier and increase your profits. Well, that's our time for today. To find out more about upselling and techniques that work, check out our training tutorials at keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com. I would like to hear what you upsell at your property. If you would like to share or have any questions or feedback, leave them in the comments section of the show notes at keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash khdc016 or that's Keystone Hospitality Development Consulting episode 16. Well, that's it for today's session of Hospitality Property School. We appreciate your comments and if you have any topic ideas, please feel free to reach out to us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Keystone HTC on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Keystone HTC or by email at info at Keystone Hospitality Development dot com. As always, let's work together to put more heads in your beds. Until next time, have a fun day. This session of Hospitality Property School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe so as not to miss any hospitality property tactics and strategies that will help you find the success you have always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best content possible. We will see you next time, right here in Hospitality Property School.